vlog at the airport now because it's just too chaotic too stressful there's not a lot to see at the airport like you don't need to see us checking in you guys know that it's boring um but anyway we have well i say we we have just landed we haven't just landed we've been here how long have we been in now about an hour um, an hour or two um we have got to our resort we're in our hotel we're in the room so i thought it'd only be right to start this video with a room tour um so this year we thought let's do somewhere different me and Richard are all about just going somewhere different every year but to be fair i feel like if we find somewhere nice would you not go back every year because like, i love ibiza i like mm, yeah okay anyway we like trying different places so this year we said Somewhere that we both haven't been is Greece. We've not done a Greek island. You've been Malia, haven't you, when you was like 17? Yeah, but that doesn't, really, <laughs> that doesn't really count when it's a guy's holiday because you're just going to get pissed up on the trip for the whole week. Super so, um, I asked on Instagram and so many of you said, don't do Santorini, don't do Mykonos, maybe go for like a day trip, but it's just overpriced, very touristy, like beautiful, but there's better places. And so many people said kind of like Crete, Zante, or Zakin, Rhodes, Zakin, Rhodes, Corfu. Corfu. We, was wait, we were looking ages for hotels. Yeah. Like, we couldn't find anything. No. Was it, and then we, we didn't even look at Zante. And then we were no. like, right, okay, let's have a look at Zante. And then this came up, we were like, yeah. that's it. Yeah, basically, this hotel came up and we just found it. Every room's got pool view. Yeah. What, this hotel? Every room. Are you winding me up? <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Housekeeping just knocks on. As soon as he gets here, has to be unpacking, everything's got to be on hangers, all neat and tidy. Whereas I'll be living out my suitcase for a week, but God, I look so rough. Please excuse this, guys, I'm like such a chav with this hat on. Um, yeah, anyway, long story short, let's give you a room tour because I'm rambling and rambling. We basically picked to come to Zanti. This hotel is called Tui Blue Maris. Maris Zanti? Is that what it's called? Mm. Why does it look so dark when I come in? Let me just give it a wipe. Is that better? That might be better. Anyway, so when you come in, it's not like the biggest of rooms, but it's a decent size. I feel like this is just a double bed, isn't it? No. Or it's like... I feel like it might be two. <laughs> it might be two sinks. Is it? I don't know, actually. No, no, I feel like it's bigger than a double. Yeah, it actually does look slightly bigger than a double. So, you've got a nice bed. Me and Mitchell were saying, one thing we really love about this hotel is like all the like wooden, kind yeah, of like so rattan. Wood, wood decor everywhere. Yeah, it's really cute. Kind of like boho vibe decor, which we really like. I'm sorry if this looks really dark. I'm going to have to focus my camera everywhere. It's because the light's coming in. Um, you've got this little station here to do your makeup, which I like. And I like the fact they've put quite, kind of like a full-length mirror, so you can see your outfit at night. Um, TV on the wall. As Mitchell was saying, there's a lot of storage space. We also have a fridge. Does this get stocked up? Yeah, I get stocked. I don't think there's alcohol in it. Oh. It does get stocked up. <laughs> That's a shame. Um, and then... Yeah, they've given us a complimentary bottle of red. Like, oh, there's robes. There's robes. Oh my goodness. This has made my day. There's robes. How good is that? Let me show you to the balcony. Like I say, it's not the... Like, we kind of wanted a pool view because we always have a pool view. But it's not the worst. View. It's not like we're overlooking a skip or anything. Um, but it's just basically the back of the hotel. It could be worse. It could be me and Danielle when we got... Like I said to you earlier, me and Danielle when we went Ibiza... We literally looked down and there's like two skips. <laughs> it was a bio. She's jumping up pool though. Mm. See, them rooms wouldn't be so bad at the bottom, would they? Look, they've got the um, beds. Yeah, they've got them comfy oh, beds to lay on there. 
<laughs> you didn't shower that. Yeah, they, they, they would be good on them. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, look how cute the decor is on the balcony. Like, look at all like the decking, the panelling. I think they got Mitchell over to do that. What is? How did they do that? Just stick some panels on. Yeah. What, what do you think to it? Is it a good job? I'd do better. <laughs> really like this furniture here. Yeah, it's cute. It's oh, really nice to be fair. Oh, I stuck them in this morning. <laughs> Um, anyway guys, that is the room tour. I now need to freshen up because I look like a mole rat. Look at me. Mole rat. Um, so yeah, we'll see you at the pool. I'm back. Apparently she's, actually, she's had a, she's had, what, you had a mojito and an apparel. Yeah. And you think you're Johnny Big Bollock. <laughs> I don't really drink to be honest with you, but also I was taking photos on my phone so I kind of thought in my head that I'd show you the bathroom, but I didn't show you the bathroom. And Mitchell was like, you didn't show them the bathroom. Here's the bathroom. How cute is the bathroom? Like, I just want to take these sinks home with me and put them in our bathroom. So this is the bathroom. We've got a magnifying mirror as well, which is always good because Mitchell likes to pluck his eyebrows. Hello. Um, yeah. Shower, I mean, not thrilled about the shower because you guys know I love a bath, but it is what it is. Oh God, no, it's just a shower. It's, to be fair, it does look like a nice shower. Like, look at that. Look at oh, it. Bloody hell, want to make any more noise, hon? Um, is there anything else I need to show them? Yeah. Boss? Yeah. What? Outfit of the day, first day. Just wearing PLT bikini, PLT cover up. I'm using bag from last year. Primark little flip flops. And we're off. Oh, cool. Yeah. What are you saying? It's a bit late, isn't it? Well, what do you want to do? Let's just go down. Let's go and get some drinks. Guys, so we are back at the room now. Um, I didn't actually really vlog when we were just at the pool because honestly, we had been up since what time did we get up, Mitchell? Like three-ish? Was it three-ish we got up? Yeah. It's been an early start today. I think we've had like a couple of hours sleep. So we ended up just going down to the pool, falling asleep on the sunbed. Um, and then we've just come back up to the room and just quickly freshened up. I have had my first dilemma of the holiday. You d I don't know if you can even tell, but basically um, it's a good job I did have an LVL. I mean, to be fair, I don't really feel like my lashes are that... I don't know if it's because I've lost them or what, but like normally I do find... My lashes look a bit longer, but anyway, they still obviously look really good, and um, they're tinted and stuff. But yeah, my point of the conversation is I forgot my mascara. How did I not pack a mascara? Like, I make to-do lists on my phone, I take everything off, and the one thing I've not put, I think, I'm going to have to have a look at my to-do list, I've not even had a look, um, but I've not packed a mascara. I feel like that's because in my head I was saying that I need to go to Boots and get mascara and then I've completely forgot about it because I had a, another things, another things, another million one things to do. Um, so yeah, devastated that I've not got mascara because luckily I bought my um, lash curlers so I've just like curled my lashes with those. But yeah, that is dilemma one of this evening which has annoyed me. But whatever, it's what it is. Gonna go into the town. Hopefully there's just like a little pharmacy or something. I know, I know there's normally like um, chemists that sell perfume and stuff. So I'm hoping they just have like a little stand with some mascara on so I can grab one and then that'll be sorted. Um, but yeah, let me quickly show you my outfit of the night. I'm loving my brows as well, guys. I've literally done nothing to my brows today. Like, how easy is that? Um, so this is the outfit. I didn't really know what to wear. I feel like first night's always a little bit like, what do you wear? Um, but this is a... All PLT number. So this skirt I've had a fuck. Guy with speed. I probably should have ironed this. Really quite bothered. Um, yeah, I've had this skirt for a few years now. It's from PLT. It's honestly my fave, and like I bring it out every year and just rework it with it. Um, and I actually had one of these tops. Well, I've got this in two different colours, and I've worn these on previous holidays. And I just love them so much. Um, and I saw they did it in green, so I got the green to go with. And I think this is actually quite a holiday summery outfit then i've just put some earrings in like big hoop thin earrings from zara um just like brushed my blow dry out because the curls were quite no, tight yeah it looks nice yeah you look nice anyway this is today's outfit looking super bronze um i used molly may's fake tan last night and i just love it so much so yeah anyway don't know where we're going i think we're gonna head into the town aren't we Let's go for a mooch. You're gonna go for a mooch. Obviously, we are. Um, I don't know if I. Well, I think I might have said this, but we are all inclusive. But 
we do like eating out as well, don't we? And we do. So. Sure. Yeah. Anyway, night number one. Um, okay. Night number one in Zanti. Just wait for Abba. We're loving it. We're on the app where I was like to come somewhere. Where's Abba? Abba's coming. So where's the guys? Is it just two girls? It is two girls. Yeah. Anyway, we decided to stay in the hotel tonight. It was a bit like, should we go out? Should we not? It's first night. We just thought, we'll, we'll, go, we'll go local. Yeah, we had a bit of food in the hotel. It was all right. Really nice. Really tasty. And um, ribs were nice. Yeah, Pasta was nice. Really I just, we were just saying though, like with all inclusive food, I just feel like the plate ends up being such a mishmash. Yeah, you don't just know. sling anything on them now. You don't really just have like one thing. We're out tomorrow though, man. Out tomorrow. It's a nice restaurant. It's not watching our bar. At the bar area outside. It's so nice, isn't it? Hotel view. And also, we're loving it because we can have a croissant on top all night. It's free. So free. many, so many cocktails in town. Like so normally, many. do you have any of those non inclusive? And you ask for a cocktail. It's like in a little shitty plastic it's cocktail. All, um, it's all pre-mixed, isn't no, it? Yeah, it's normally. all proper spirits as well. It's not mm. like cheap version, it's actual like Smirnoff cocktail. Oh, is it now? Yeah, How do you know? It's all like Jim Beam. Oh, wait, anyway, Abby's going. Abby. We're going to get copyrighted. Bye! No sé qué tú ves en mí, mi amor Ya no dejes de mirarme Que ya me gusta quién soy Contigo me siento en control Eres el balance en este mundo Hey, hello You're gonna start the vlog? Yeah, you were on with my school Right She was stealing Burger How's Steve from here? Drunk And what time did he lay himself? 11. Is it 11? Oh! <laughs> That's very unlike us, isn't it? Mm. I just kept waking up and I was so confident I just kept falling back to eat. <laughs> it's good though, isn't it? Yeah. And we found some cats. <laughs> and you got some tuna. And you started chucking it over. <laughs> Um, good morning guys, it is our first proper day, we've just walked down, it's like a little strip isn't it, mm. like a little, oh, not a strip, a little street, um, strip, street. Street, strip street, whatever we're going to call it, it's really cute around here, and yeah, I am feeling a bit worse and worse today, it's like I said to you, it's Prosecco, it does me, because I was drinking a lot of Aperol's, um, and yeah, if I ever drink Aperol, because it's got Prosecco in, that gives me a headache. It's a poor excuse. It's not really a poor excuse. Why do you not have a headache? I have a little bit. You have? Oh, so you've been lying to me then. He's been no, making out that he feels alright. Feel right. It's the back of my head here that hurts. So yeah, anyway. Starting the holiday with a hangover. I always feel like the first day though, you do go a little bit like that. And then I'll no, probably... you do. And then you'll be like, I ain't drinking myself. <laughs> yeah, then I won't drink for the rest of the holiday yeah. now. You can, but just in moderation. No, I just need to find a I drink. We tried it? every cocktail under the sun yesterday. <laughs> the it's all inclusive. I think this is what I'm saying as well. Like when you're all inclusive, and, we went, and you can try any we cocktail to, we you want. We went to a karaoke bar, and then Laura thought it was a good idea to start getting shots. <laughs> we had a shot of sambuca. I hate sambuca as well. Oh, that's and horrible. That's I think that's what did actually tip me over the edge because I felt like all right. Like, I felt drunk. I feel like that last whiskey cocktail we had at the hotel as well. That was, oh, that was strong, wasn't it? Yeah, I think that tip was over the edge. Oh, it was horrible. <laughs> <laughs> no, and you. Um, so yeah. Anyway, feeling a little bit worse wear this morning. I did take some paracetamols and I've drunk loads of water, but it's not really helping. So we stopped off at this little coffee place that looks quite cute, getting an iced. To be fair, I don't really know if it's a good idea me having coffee with the caffeine, but I'm normally allowed, like, I can do a bit of caffeine a day. I'm kind of like testing the waters at the moment to see how much I can have. Fill up a coffee with sort of that. Yeah, it's a nice iced salted caramel it's nice. coffee. It's a nice place you're there, isn't it? Yeah, it's beautiful. Um, need to go on the hunt for mascara. I don't know if I said last night, but I didn't bring my mascara with me, did I? So, um, the body shop sell so. Body shop? Do they sell yeah. mascara? I've seen a body shop not far away. Ooh. Yeah, they'll have makeup. So, yeah, we're going to go on the hunt for mascara. It's a bit cloudy today. Um, it's honestly, nice, isn't it? it's funny though, because me and Richard was like, our first holiday, well, 
trip this year, we went to Prague, hammered it down for like the whole time. It was a bit miserable to be honest yeah, with you. Yeah, we got good weather in Lanzarote. Yeah, we got lucky with the weather in Lanzarote. Madeira was good, but it was very cloudy, wasn't it? Yeah, Madeira was cloudy. But it was, it was um, hot. But I feel like this time of the year, obviously I know May can be a bit hit and miss, but I do think it normally is like really hot and sunny year. I think it's you're just having it shows a better for the next few days. It's just having a weird spell at the moment. So yeah, it's cloudy, but it's still warm. Like it's warm, isn't it? Yeah. It's just a bit cloudy. Uh, but yeah, I think we've got a couple of days of cloudy weather and then it's gonna clear up and um get better. Better next week. Is it? Twenty six is in the next week. Just pure sunshine. 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 Um, yeah. Actually, it changes daily, doesn't it? On the yeah, app. you can't even just look at the weather. Anyway, as long as it's not chucking it down the raining every day, I'm up there. Mm. You? I'm up I don't come here to sunbathe anyway. I don't go in the sun, so... I just like a bit of sunshine because it makes you feel better, doesn't it? Like, when you're looking at that cloud, that just doesn't really... Oh my goodness. Oh, salted caramel lattes are gone. How good do these look? Oh, Have we even gone on holiday if we don't do a walk? <laughs> this is your fault. Oh no! We're basically going on a hunt for some mascara. A five mile round trip. It's not, is it five miles? Two and a half mile there, two and a half mile back. No, but... You forgot your mascara. Yeah, but no, look. I have, we have just said it's cloudy day. What else are we going to do? It's not like we're going to lay around the pool. We've not got any like excursions or anything planned today. So, why not go for a little walk to the next town and enjoy ourselves? Yeah, I agree. Yeah. <laughs> No, it's so pretty around here. Like I just love walking when you've like doing new places. Mm. Like it's you could be walking in worse places. Like look how beautiful all the trees are. You've got a fucking thing with trees. <laughs> it is beautiful though. Oh. We're porting back in, we've made it. Porting. Wasn't... Oh we've done that. Huh? Oh <laughs> reporting is a port, yeah. Uh, made it into the what is this called? Bachel town? No. <laughs> Uh, Bachella. But yeah, it's definitely more of a town than where we are. It's yeah, like it's loads of very busy, isn't it? Yeah, very busy. Just yeah, like a little city, isn't it? Loads of shops, supermarkets, yeah, perfume like shops. It's absolutely nothing like London. Um, but yeah, I wanted to source my mascara, so we went into a shop that Mitchell found. I haven't a clue what brand this is. Um but the lady was really helpful and she told me it's a best seller, so I like the packaging as well. It's nice. It's the most expensive, so she was just having <laughs> yarn problem. Well, no, I normally like the five euro ones probably are not going to be that good, do you know what I mean? Yeah. So, anyway, yeah, it was only like 15, wasn't it? 15 euro. So, I don't think that's too bad for a mascara. It's probably like standard L'Oreal price. Well, why? I don't know. <laughs> Mitchell was like looking at all the ones and everything I in there, weren't you? Enjoy, I was enjoying it. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, we've got the mascara, that's what we came for. It's a shame that it's raining because it's actually so nice around here. Madison. Ooh. That's nice, but our cafe. Um, but yeah, anyway. It's so beautiful around here. And I feel like there's a port with loads of boats around there. It's very pretty. See, it's very blue as well, isn't it? No sé lo que me está pasando. Okay, we are back on the main bit now. Just um, going around the quad bike places to see what the prices are. Because we're going to get a quad out for a few they days. Look a bit rubbish, though, don't they? Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to. Um, look. But anyway, just thought I'd show you like the main little road um, where all like, the little bars are, some restaurants. It's so cute, isn't it? I like this place over here. Do you know like, where all the flowers are? Look how cute that looks. What kind of restaurant is that? What do you... Looks like a traditional Greek. Greek. Mm. Do you need to try some like traditional Greek food? I did yesterday. What did you have? Gyros. Oh. I just thought it was a wrap that you had. Okay, I'm going to show you the outside of the hotel. I feel like I've not really given you much of a tour of the hotel yet. So we are staying at the Tui Blue Santi Maris. Look how nice it is. And I think our room's around, around there, isn't it? They've got, we were saying this, they've got a lot of rooms that are outward facing. So if you like to get a pool room, you have to pay, don't you, obviously? I'd say so, we'll get a look at it. The decor is just so, kind of like wood, boho. Really nice decor. The reception. Hi. In the bar area. Dumbbell. 
Huh? So this is where you sit for their entertainment. And that's like the little stage, isn't it? Restaurant. And then we have the pool area, which is very quiet today because as you can see, it is very cloudy. Look at these rooms. The sunbeds, the comfiest sunbeds in the world. They're, right? they're very nice and they're like a plastic sunbed <laughs> yeah. that normally snaps on you. See, I would like one of these rooms. I don't know, I won't go in it. Mm. But I tell you what, it won't be very good for me because I just stand in the blooming and people are Wind watching you. People, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. people are watching you as well. Right? Yeah. So privacy. Yeah. Like, There's a bit of privacy where we are. Do you know what you mean? <laughs> we are donkeys. And then you can also go straight onto the beach, which is really nice. And this is going to be our new favourite place. This is the snack bar, which is called the Beach House. And it's just, it's so good, isn't it? Obviously, we're all inclusive, but you can just come here, sit down. It's not canteen it's not buffet, you can pick what you want off the menu. Bang. So nice. So anyway, I'm gonna go for some lunch. Much needed after our eight mile walk. <laughs> okay, so I've gone for the green salad. Green? Yeah. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah, that's what it's called. Oh. Um, you've had a club sandwich, which looks unreal. Oh, I feel like I need to try one of them. Obviously, I've got a side of chips because I'm hungry. I just felt, I just felt like some, um, do you know what I mean? Like fresh, clean. Anyway, bon appetit. Yeah. Good evening, guys. Um, so we're just walking to Afr Afrella. Afrella. Um, we obviously are all inclusive, but Ugh. we like to eat out as well. Um, yeah, breakfast and lunch in the hotel, isn't it? Yeah, but yeah, like I don't know, just for me, all inclusive. Like, don't get me wrong, no, the food is yeah. really nice there. Like, the food is really good, um, but we're just not really a buffet kind of person. Like, it just gets repetitive, doesn't it, day after day? And as me and Mitchell always say as well, like I feel like when you go to an all inclusive buffet, I know you don't have to be like this, but it's not often you'll sit down at an all inclusive buffet and just have like you'll just get the lasagna and just put a bit of salad with it and that's mm. all you have like you just pick at everything don't you yeah. and it's just like a picky a picky dinner whereas i just like to sit somewhere be served and just choose one thing is it this way oh okay we're at lost now anyway tonight i'm wearing a little zara dress number um yeah 25.99 this was i feel like you could wear this a day or night but i've obviously just Put a bit of heel, put a bit of heels, put some heels on, and this little green bag, some statement earrings, and having it as a little night dress. Um, it's cold, not cold tonight, not but cold. it's it's cooler, isn't it? You definitely can feel it's colder than yesterday. No. Oh, well, I think it's no, cold. It's well, it's not cold, no, but yeah. It's anyway, it's cold. But yeah, anyway, so we walk into this restaurant. I've had a recommendation. Um, for this apparently it's really nice so yeah just gonna check out something new mm -hmm. i don't know maybe i've never been here but i think that's probably the only way we can get there isn't it by the way this is the beach guys i don't feel like i've shown you the beach yet yeah. so cute guys some of the restaurants and oh, things no, no. around here but well nice what is that part of a hotel that's no, no it is an hotel isn't it it's well nice yeah, so this restaurant tonight, it's not on like the main drag. Yeah, that looks beautiful. Um, it's a 20 minute walk, which we don't mind. Do we? No, it's in the other direction, we ain't been either side. So. Yeah. And is there like much around here? Like, I think so, yeah. So yeah, that is what we're doing. The sun has finally made an appearance at seven <laughs> o'clock in the evening. It's been cloudy all day. Hopefully that's a good sign for tomorrow. Fingers crossed. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so we're just at the Afrolala restaurant. Decor's so nice, isn't it? How cute it is. Diet Coke for me this evening, staying away from the alcohol. <laughs> you always do this, don't you? First night, go too hard, then I'm like, just Diet Coke for the rest of the day. Don't have a stomach here. <laughs> yeah, I'll be fine with me here. I think it's just the Aperol. Oh. 
<laughs> okay, so I've gone for risotto. You've gone for sea bass, which is very different for you. It looks sensational. Let's tuck in. Dinner done. Dinner, dinner what done. What was your ratings? What scores on the doors? I really rate it, to be fair. It's nice, isn't it? Mm. Out of 10? 8.7. Ooh. Get in with the right, like, point. You've got, you to, you've, got to be, you've got to be bang on, you can't just, you know what I mean, there's no yeah, playing games. Yeah, I probably agree with you, it was really nice, really tasty. We had garlic bread to start, although we did stay with the garlic bread. They had like dips that you could have We needed some hummus. Yeah, we needed something to dip in it. Um, oh sorry, I'm like trying to hold the phone and then hold this. This is now. Yeah, this was a really nice halfway house. So we had garlic bread to start, I had risotto, you had sea bass, which is a very unusual choice, Mitchell. I've never known you to order sea bass, but it looked nice and did taste nice. It was nice. good, wasn't it? Um, yeah, my risotto was nice. The only thing I take a point off for is I know this sounds mental because I love cheese, but there's a little bit too much feta. Like, there was just a few bits that were almost like a whole, mm. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like a whole yeah. block of feta. And it was quite a um, rich risotto anyway, so it just, yeah, I obviously just didn't eat them bits, but um, no, it was really tasty. And then we had a brownie to share again, the brownie was so nice. So, yeah, I definitely recommend. It was good all around, and the decor was so nice, wasn't yeah. it? Decor made it, didn't it? Yeah, I feel like I feel like that's that. I feel like that's that kind of place. That obviously the food was really tasty, but also you kind of go in there because it's just so decor. Yeah, nicely decorated. <laughs> anyway, we're walking back to the hotel now. I think we're gonna have maybe a few drinks, watch the entertainment, and have an early night because we're gonna go. We're going to the quad tomorrow. Aren't we? Yeah, is that what we're doing? Yeah, I think we're gonna go to the shipwreck beach. Is that it? Yeah, someone's so driving. Drive, I'm a bit nervous. <sighs> I know, should you be driving there? Have you not had no experience? Yeah. Oh, okay. It's calm, isn't it? Yeah. Anyway, ciao for now. It's a little bit chilly tonight, but I feel like now I've been walking, I feel a bit better. Yeah, we've worked up a right <laughs> We've done a lot of walking today. How many calories did you say you'll be burn? I can tell you. Okay. We've done 24,000 steps. Ooh. That's a lot. Tw tw over 1,200 calories. That's good, isn't it? That's really good. 20,000 steps? Did you say that? 24,000 steps. Jesus, I said that we'd do something. I know, I'm supposed to go on today. holiday to relax. Well, we are, but we also do like walking. Hey, what's your Back to the hotel. Back to the hotel. Looks so nice at night, doesn't it? Yeah, I'm in the day. Yeah, I know, but it's you're like with the lights on. Better, it's not cute. Hard, so. Good morning, everyone. So, it is day two in San Diego today. We've decided to run out in quad for two days. Two days. I'll show you. This is the quad. Here's the driver. Don't really know where we're going or what we're doing, but everyone it's said, important. well, we've seen loads, haven't we? And I feel like the best way and like one good thing to do here is to just rent a quad and just explore the island. So that's what we're doing. We have just arrived at, show them on the map. Kerry. 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 Well, we did see, like, and a few people messaged me to say go to Kerry Lighthouse restaurant. But I don't know if it's because it's too early in season and things are shutting because they're renovating or what. Because literally there was a review on there for two days ago. Mm. So I'm a bit confused. They probably just meant this. Or did they review the restaurant? Review the restaurant? But maybe they were reviewing from. <laughs> maybe they were reviewing it from ages ago or something. But anyway, it's temporary closed, which is annoying because apparently the view from there is supposed to be amazing. Well, no, because where are the lighthouses? I don't think you'd even be able to see this. I don't really know, but it's apparently it's supposed to be nice. Anyway, so we've just come to a viewing point instead. We'll show you in a minute, but it's quite scary, isn't it? Yeah, especially with the wind. Because it's very windy up here, and the cliffs, literally, it's just like a sheer drop. It's so Taking this next. Hello, where do you want to go? Our little quadmobile. I know, me and Mitchell was just um, reminiscing, not kind of reminiscing, but thinking of what could have been if uh, the drone that you got me for my birthday was actually any kind of. It's not even tried using that, It's not like that. No, well, like, do you know when I was Googling them, like that one is like a big one. The one you got is like a mini one. They're not proper ones. They're all right just to mess around. That's, that's a proper one. Like, you need to pay about four or five hundred pounds for a good one. All right, we're about to stop off at a little to try and find Mitchell some plasters because silly sausage. 
did his feet on the first day, didn't you? Yeah. Inappropriate footwear. Does <laughs> so anyone else just love looking at supermarkets abroad? I just find it fascinating all the stuff they have. Um, I don't know. I don't I know have over here. Well, a supermarket, a normal supermarket sells glasses, don't they? Down here. And especially because it's quite a big one, it's not just like your mini market. Guys, I found plastic, but the only ones they've got are either mini mouse or frozen ones. Daisy would love them. <laughs> well, you can, it's just gonna, it's just sorting your feet out, isn't it? What are you gonna do? Which ones do you want, mini mouse or frozen? Probably Donald Duck. Well, they've got to have more plastic than that. Just put it on your foot, like it's. Right, you can't see it anyway. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Which one are you going for? It's, it's a surprise. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what one is it? Some of them. Oh. A little donkey. Okay, we are finally um, at our location for today, which is the Nonna Beach, recommended by my hairdresser Leanne. So thanks Leanne for the recommendation. Um, it's so nice here, isn't mm. it? And I feel like the sun is finally trying to start to come out. Do you? Yeah, definitely. It's red hot. Yeah, like it's warm. It's just... It's such a nice beach, isn't it? So nice. So this is Banana Beach. So it was from where we're staying in Tis Tisbilly. I bet it's about an hour, isn't it? No, 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 it's not about, oh. about 38 minutes. Oh, 38 minutes. It was just because it took us about 50 minutes <coughs> from where we were, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, it's really nice. <laughs> anyway, it's really nice. Yeah, from nice. that curry cliff. As you can probably hour. see in the background, it's like a really nice like, beach bar. And then just a really nice beach. It's absolutely beautiful. The decor here, yeah, again, it's just like wooden, beautiful, really nice menu as well. Obviously, we're all inclusive, so we're not. No, but we are sharing some nachos just because you got to. Yeah. And I've gone for an ice fry. I just want a coffee today, like an iced coffee. Mm. She only didn't got like caramel syrup or anything, but with sugar's fine. Possibly fine. They could have. No, I'm fine. As long as it's got sugar and milk. That's what you need, isn't it? It's all good for me. And you've gone for a beer. Mm. I was just saying to Mitch, you're like, the good pain for a cocktail when the cocktails are so nice back at the like, hotel uh, and it's all inclusive. Yeah, yeah. like £10 or so. Yeah, 10 euros, so. Yeah, and I'm all alcohol, alcohol now. Now, <laughs> no, you're not. Yeah, I am. Right, we've got nachos. These are absolutely like real. Coffee, they look like homemade nachos. Mm. This is the view. This, this is the life. See. Okay, just thought I'd check back in. We just had nachos. Really nice. I think this place would be a really good spot to eat if you're not like all inclusive and you want to come for like a nice beach day, have some food because the food does seem really good. It's just the way. Waiters were really nice as well. Mm. Just seems like a really nice place. And you can come to the front and if it's sunny, <laughs> not like today where it's a little bit cloudy. Um yeah, you could just have a really nice beach day here, couldn't you? Yeah. Real so nice like chill vibes. On its own, isn't it? Nice sandy beach. There's a massage bit there. Um there's also some cute swings there. We're gonna have to walk to the swings, but then I think we'll go back after. But yeah, it's so nice. I've gone for the club summary today. Mitch has gone for a burger. Been wanting it for a while, isn't it? I don't even feel hungry now. I feel a bit sick. Looks so good though. Okay guys, so my battery out. Anyway, so outfit of the night. I'm sorry you can't really like see proper full length. Um, this is the full length you're getting, but my shoes are boring anyway. They're only my killer perspex because they're just light, couldn't think over everything. But yeah, this is the outfit. So it's a pretty little thing. I think it's actually Gemma Owens collection. Love it. It's like a little linen number. It's a long skirt. And then, do you know what? I just bought a tea, a necklace. So we've gone for like no earrings tonight. To be fair, I need to get some more studs for my first holes. Um, so I've just got these gold studs in on my seconds. Sorry about the background. 
background noise. Um, Mitchell picks his times. Um, yeah, anyway, pearl necklace is from Zara. It's actually a set of two. You get this big chunky one, but the chunky one didn't look as good, so I've just put the summer one on. Um, and yeah, I've just gone for a hair up. I've just like plaited my bun, wrapped it round, left this little out bit. I don't mean I don't know how good it looks on the back, but that's what we've gone with. Anyway, we're going to a Chinese restaurant tonight um, because we love a Chinese and yeah, as I've already said, we don't eat in every single night, even though we're all inclusive because we like to eat out as well. But we're eating in tomorrow, aren't we? Yeah, the At the yellow car, so right. Hello. Reporting to the vlog. You've got a bit of a side hair that's sticking up. That was just going to stick up. Anyway, we're at the Chinese. Spring rolls to start. We'll show you the mains when they come. That's a big spring roll. I know, it looks so good. Did you not have it? Cheers. Did you not This food looks unreal. I like the plate as well, don't you? So we've gone for chicken curry, egg fried rice, chilli salt and chips with garlic. with garlic, barbecue sauce, oh we have a barbecue sauce and takeaway at home, and then we've got crispy beef coming. Cheers mate. Oh, look at that. Wow. Yeah, you so good. Good. <laughs> Best. <laughs> Best Chinese. <laughs> yeah. I'm clean but I need it on my arms in it because I'm bloody like bloody burning that and I'm going to look quite like I'm really burning me. What accent is that? It's not an accent, it's my real oh. voice. Sounds northern. I've been putting an accent on for the longest time. Good morning. So, it is Monday. My well, arm's burning, bro. Do you know what? Your nose looks burnt as well. Um, good morning. It is Monday today, so we've been here. How many days have we been here? Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Fourth day. We're like mid holiday. Fourth day? Yeah. We've got there Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Yeah, so we're like midway yeah, through, yeah, aren't we? There's a quad there, look. Midweek. Um, so, today... Yeah, just short of halfway through the other day. Just short, you reckon? Oh. Well, yeah, because the fourth day isn't up yet, is it? Oh, okay, yeah. So we've got four days left. Okay. So, um, yeah, today, it's second day of us having the quad bike, because we've rented it out for two days. So, today, we're going to go to oh ship... Oh, my God. What? Someone's put the indicator on. What's that mean? I mean, it's dead. I don't know why. What has it been hit or something? Uh oh. I feel like it's, why are the hazards? Um, it's the um. Everything's still in there. <laughs> We've got drama already, guys. I bet the helmets are still in there. How's that come on? Do you reckon someone's just been pissing around? Uh oh. Guys, we're all good. Bit chills. I don't know what has gone on there. What went on there? You were just treating yourself, weren't you? Uh, the helmets are in the boot, so we're all good. Um, so, as I was saying, today we're going to shipwreck viewpoint. So, apparently, you can't actually go on the beach anymore. And I feel like even to go on the beach, you have to do like a boat trip to get on the beach. Um, but because there's been a few, like, what is it? Side of the cliff collapse, Cl isn't it? Yeah, the cliffs have been collapsing and they've actually shut it this whole year for the summer because uh, it's too dangerous. So we're just going to go to the viewpoint and then I found like another beach bar place on the way back. So we're going to head there first and on the way back, go to the beach bar. Place. Yeah, have a coffee. Coffee. And then use a full fuel because we need to get it back empty. Yeah, so ciao! Okay, 
Okay, we have finally arrived at destination Nobilio's restaurant, I think it's called. Oh my god, that was a chaotic drive. It was so windy. I feel like I'm so dishevelled, I'm all over the place. I had a issue with my helmet as well, didn't I? Yeah, it flew off. My <laughs> helmet <laughs> flew off. <laughs> oh, this looks beautiful. So again, it's probably windy, so I don't know how well you're going to hear it, but we are at Nobilio, wasn't it? Nobilo? Nobilo. It's really random. It was just you said yesterday, find somewhere for a coffee on the way home, on the way home that's like, looks quite nice. And look across this place. Look at all the pine cone trees. How beautiful. It's, it's quite pricey. Uh, well, I don't know. We've not actually looked at their main menu, but it's I think... <laughs> yeah, so judging from that, we think it's going to be a coffee, a four euro coffee. and maybe like sit on the beach and yeah it's a really nice private beach it's honestly stunning you never know it's here like i said i literally just saw it on tiktok randomly um and it just happened to be on the way back but it's so pretty god i look windswept i can't believe is it there i've got the mark tell the tale so as i was saying my helmet fell off and then you tried to put it back on and hurt me. Yeah, but you, you should have strapped it in the first place. So well, I did thought I thought I trapped it in, obviously. There. But it was very windy as well. Like, how windy was it? Yeah, I don't know, but you strapped it. In. Yeah, it but it, was, it didn't feel like it was on my head, right? Trapped the skin. Yeah, it yeah, it did really hurt. Uh, no. It's not fun, there. Eh? I thought you fell off or something. I was more scared. <laughs> stop today is Porta Paradiso. One of Mitchell's finds. Um, it was just kind of on the way back, wasn't it? And it's just like a cheap beach bar. What? Cheap. Well, yeah, it's a lot cheaper than what the other one. Well, yeah, it's a cheap beach bar compared to like your bougie ones, isn't it? So if you want to just come with... I'd well, say it's quite cheap, like three, three euro for a glass of wine. I think that's quite cheap. And also, like they do, um, like snacks here for like four euro, right? Look, like a tortilla. Yeah, it's normal price. For, I think that's quite cheap. Anyway, it's nice. It's cute. I'm gonna get some sangria. Sangria, first sangria of the holiday. Oh, miss this. Cause more Spanish, isn't it? But I love a sangria. Our first chasiki zip of the holiday. Not that bad, they're only a little bit pink. Oh, this looks so it's nice. Like a Samu. You are a Samu. Okay, we've ended up at the snack bar again. Snack bar. You've got your gyros. I've gone for club sandwich again. And oh, we've got chunky chips today. It's just so exciting. They look unreal. How is this on all inclusive? Like, this is so good. It's crowded at the moment, so. Taking cover, but you've still managed to burn. <laughs> Okay, very quick outfit of the night before Mitchell has a go at me. Um, how's the V dress? Huh? Well, you said to get, let me get out before I get stressed. I've been here two and a half hours. Well, you didn't need to, did you? We've just come up to the room quite early tonight. How's the V dress? It is supposed to go up like this, but it was annoying me, so I've just done it up. There's a whole snack. Um, it's like a little number. It's a white party tonight. I've got that on because I can't be bothered. This little bag. There you go. Everywhere's a mess. Standard. Good morning from a rainy Zanti. It's the first time we've had rain, it's Tuesday today, so we've only got Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday left. And then we're just more or less getting up Friday, aren't we, and going home. Mm. Um, so yeah, three days left, and I must say, the, like, to be fair, we've not had bad weather. Um, yeah, it's not been, like, bad. It's not been, like like blazing sun every day 30 degrees really hot it's just been warm like short t-shirt weather and then like cloudy sun cloudy sun um which is all right like me and mitchell are happy with that obviously we'd probably like to see a little bit more sun sometimes but yeah it's been fine weather wise like you can get out do stuff and i think that's the main thing like obviously as you guys know when we went prague and it was hammering it down like it is this morning that's when you can't do anything that's when it's miserable um but yeah like as long as it's 
like I say, just dry and warm, I'm okay with that. Um, but yeah, today, it was forecast to be fair, we did expect this. I feel like it's supposed to stop on the weather wrap at 11 o'clock. So yeah, we've got kind of like a washout morning. So I've just put my hoodie on and um, I did bring this gym set underneath. So I don't know, I might go in the gym this morning for an hour. Um, I've also got like a bit of editing and things I can do on my laptop, so I might do that as well. But yeah, this is the weather today in Zanti. I feel like the forecast has been so hit and miss for me. Apparently it's like normally just sunny and nice, um, but yeah, I feel like all around Europe, if you look at the forecast, it's been a bit mishmash at the moment. Like even in Ibiza and Mallorca, I've had thunderstorms and rain, so maybe it's just just a thing going around. <laughs> Okay guys, it has finally brightened up after chucking it down all morning. To be fair, it was always forecast for like rain this morning, which we know. So we've just been in the room. Sorry, there's someone at my front door back at home. Anyway, we are at the beach snack bar again because it's so good here. You can order off the menu and they like, you know what I mean? It's not like buffet style. Oh my God, them nice chips again. These chips are so good, I'm having that. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I don't really know what we've got planned for the rest of the afternoon. What we've got planned? Anyway, I'm going to eat this. It's quite hot though, so I'm waiting for it to cool down. Good evening, guys. Just thought I would check in because I feel like it's been a while. Okay, it's going to be awkward actually because I'm walking down the beach and I'm wide beside to start vlogging now. But just been to a little strip. I wanted to get to it for like the beach. I honestly could not sit still. I can't sit on a sun lounge, I get bored. So I just bought. Oh my god, it's so cold. Um, yeah, I just bought a little beach ball to play like volleyball, football. And then I also just did a little bit of like souvenir shopping. Honestly, if I'm ever with Mitchell, I can't go souvenir shopping. He's like, no, I'm not buying that, it's a waste of money, it's tack. So I went on my own. I told him I was going to the shop for football, come back with all the <laughs> souvenir tack. But anyway, where am I? Oh yeah, there he is. Apparently he's got the drinks and I think he's sitting waiting. <laughs> Guys, I'm back. I found Mitchell. Um, I thought I'd do a little haul of what I got at the shop because it was so cute. It was so cheap as well. And so I got these bracelets that were two euro each. One for me, one for Mitchell because we're best friends. <laughs> and I got Uno for two euro. It's gotta be fake, isn't it? But I just thought for two euro I'm getting it. And then, I think this beach ball was like five. That was probably the most expensive purchase of the whole thing. But I didn't want to get a little one because I like kicking a bigger one. And then I got this little turtle for my grandma because she collects fridge magnets. So I'm going to pop it on her fridge. How cute is that? Oh, it's so cute. Yeah, so that goes in there. Yeah, and then my favourite purchase, they seem to have loads of like dream patches and Zante. And I feel like I'm going to get a bigger one for the garden, but for now I've just got these like three mini ones, which I just thought were so good. These were like two euro twenty each. Like honestly, how do I one of these? They're, like love hearts with feathers on. So I'm going to give my grandma one, my mum one, and then that is my little hawk. Mitchell is um, still tanning. We're going to exchange best friend necklaces now, bracelets, sorry, even. Why? Can't what? Can't you can't commit her? Well, I'll go and find a new best friend then if you're going to be like that. Just look at them. I thought we'd go simple because obviously Mitch is a guy. Do you know what I mean? I wasn't good. I didn't, I didn't go for the two Shelly ones. I've gone for one shell. Black. Put your hand here. This means you are therefore my best friend forever and ever. If you break this promise, we are not friends anymore. Oh, that is just the most adorable thing I've ever seen you wear. So nice. <laughs> that is the cutest thing. Babe, we're best friends. Yay. <laughs> I love that. Can you pass me my drink now? Anyway, broke my camera today, guys. Great. 
took it to the beach. First time I've been to the beach. And I don't know if it's sand, I don't even actually think it's sand damage in the lens that's causing it. I think it's like, it's, it's like, yeah, but it's like, okay. So do you know when I was on the beach earlier and I was video recording us, it fell back. I don't know if it's like, I didn't- Onto a beach, not into water. Okay, so why, why is it all misty then? I don't know, probably because you've got so much sand at the back of the lens. I don't know, but my camera's basically knackered. So luckily I've got my phone, so I'm just going to carry on vlogging on my phone and we'll just sort that when we get back. But just thought I'd do a quick outfit of the evening. Little Zara look again. Anyway, we're gonna food in the hotel tonight, so yeah. <laughs> Today's outfit of the day. I put this bikini back on because I only wore it for a couple of hours, and that is basically the story. So I think the sun is finally out after it has been raining again this morning. See, it looks a bit cloudy, but hopefully. Hopefully it clears up and stays sunny now because it is our last but one day. Um, so yeah, anyway, camera's back working for my camera had broke last time. But um, yeah, it was all good. Mitchell was in bed. Mini golf. I said mini golf. Okay, we've just got to mini golf. And this is the big one in Tizavilli. Huh? What? What are you saying? I'm excited. It looks quite cool, doesn't it? Mmm. It's very, um... So we're at the fancy mini golf, but it's not far down the strip from us. It looks a really I good one. I think there's loads of pirates and dinosaurs as well. <laughs> so it's going to be quite cool. Yeah? Yeah. And it's only six euro for a frozen daiquiri, which is good. Um, but they do yellow, blue, red, green, so different courses. So you could come and do a different course a day if you wanted to. Um, it's always something good to do on holiday, isn't it? Oh, and they've got a little bit of an arcade bit. Yeah, she, bloody hell, she's just... Oh my oh. God. <laughs> Shots! Evening guys, it is our last but one night in Sunsi. Um, we've decided to come out for food tonight. We did stay in for the buffet last night, um, but me and Mitchell have said this before, we're not really big buffet people. We like the all inclusive for like breakfast, lunch, drinks. and drinks. Um, oh, the cats Babe, don't are out. fucking start. Oh my god. So annoying. Oh my god, they're all out tonight. Got so many guests. Hello, babies. Oh my god, look how gorgeous these babies are. Hello! Hi! Hi! Oh look! How gorgeous! Oh look at them! There's so many cats here guys! But they're really well fed. These ones are all looked after. Look, you can see there's a little bowl out there. Um, and I did give them a tin of tuna the other night. Much to Mitchell's dismay. <laughs> Anyway, sorry about him. Um, as you guys know, he's not the biggest cat lover in the world. What is going on with this lighting? Um, anyway, yeah, tonight we're going for food. Um, it's actually a restaurant a lot of you guys recommended. I asked on Instagram and about four or five of you said that this restaurant is amazing. So yeah, it's literally around the corner from those. I'll tell you the name of it when I'm close by. Oh, look at this dog. Hello. Oh. I don't normally wear high heels. I'm just I wearing them. I don't see anyone. What? Wearing high heels. Well, I don't normally wear high heels, but tonight. Well, yeah, looking like you're going to a fucking prom. <laughs> tonight, believe it or not, this dress needed heels on. It just didn't look right with sandals on. So, when have I wore heels this holiday? <laughs> oh, actually, I've worn my low ones. <clears> but throat> throat> What? I'm throwing it haven't we? But um, no, yeah, tonight it just needed heels because it's a good moment for this PLT dress. Love it. Tom and John's everywhere. Yeah. Anyway, this is the restaurant. Avili. Avli. Avli? Right. 
I have gone for the honey mustard chicken and Mitchell's gone for the biggest plate of food in the world. It's more nice though. Mm. Mixed grill. Hit it for a tzatziki. Chips. Oh, you got chips under there as well, didn't you? It's well nice. <laughs> Okay, we are back at a car park rental this morning. It's so our last day. Um, well, we did go to our, our friends, but they didn't yeah, have any available. Boring. So this was our second. To be fair, we were going to come back here the other day, but they were shut. Yeah. We was, this was our original place. Yeah. Um, so we're back at Tommy's. And I think rentals. it's a little bit more expensive. Oh, well, this is a bit more expensive. Yeah, because we're paying 45 euro for the day. The other one, obviously, we kept overnight. So yeah, but this is a better quad park, though, isn't it? Because that one, I think it would have been cheaper. And it's got a USB. I'll we'll show you the quad park we're going for today. Now Mitchell's got a bit of confidence. We're going for the green one. The green machine. Looks nice, doesn't it? Green machine. So, yeah, we just thought, well, we've had quite a couple of lazy days, haven't we? Mm. So. Last day we're going to what we're doing, Cameo Island, Cameo Island Beach Club, Beach Club. Sushi, and then we're going to take the quad bike out for dinner tonight and go yeah. for a nice meal. Sounds perfect, day, really, isn't it? Yeah, it sounds real, real good. <laughs> but it's last day, so. I'm excited to get home now, I miss my cats. Same, yeah. <laughs> Yo, Joe, we're on a new quad today. It's called the Green Machine. <laughs> okay, so we have arrived at destination. So, what is this, Mitchell? Cameo Island. So, yeah, type in Cameo. 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 Is it Cameo Island? Cameo. Cameo, Cameo Island. Um, and basically, you just park up on your quad or whatever you're renting it out, and you can just walk across this little bridge. And um, yeah, we're going to see what's here. So nice, isn't it? Right, that was quite a short and sweet visit, wasn't it? But yeah. where are we? I don't actually know. Porto Limana Liminosia. <laughs> yeah, like we're that. in Porto Liminosia. Anyway, it's another like um yeah, such a nice place. Just like a really nice like cove with like a diving centre really. Yeah, so. diving centre. It's not like a beach or anything, but the water's really blue and clear. Um again, really pretty. But the only thing with this place is we're going to stop off for a coffee, but I quickly had a little read of the reviews and they were really bad. So we just thought not bother, eh? No, now we're going to go get some sushi. Yeah, we're going to go to... Laura needs a sushi. Oh, I just love sushi. Gaggy. I love sushi. The sushi looks really nice, this place. So yeah, anyway, we stopped off here. You had a dip. How was your dip? It was fucking freezing. <laughs> it was so cold. Everyone laughed at me when I got in. Yeah, that's what it is. I didn't think it would be that cold. And that's... I forgot there was sea, uh, salt water as well. That's why I didn't join you. I think if it was 15 degrees warmer than maybe. It was very cold. Yeah, there's another one, it's, it's, it was nice. At least we ticked off, at least we've got the t-shirt and been there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay guys, we have finally arrived to Hamilton Beach Club, which is in, I feel like this is the main party bit, isn't it? I don't know, it's nice. I feel like it is. Um, I'm pretty sure it is anyway, because there's loads of, there's loads of youth here, isn't there? We said it straight away that those are like younger people. I was really craving sushi and I found this place. It does sushi. We've ordered sushi. No, thank you. So um I'm very excited. I've got an Afro spritz. Yeah, and again, it could be on the main street to be fair. I feel like it is, I feel like is it that way? It might be left. It's left. That is like this possibly might be like Lagana, Lagana. Lagana. Yeah. The Afro spritz is so good. Obviously you get a frost with the one lose it, but it's really nice. But you can tell that one's quite good. It's yeah. not as bitter, I don't know, it's a bit more sweet, it's nice. Very good, it's very good. So really nice here. 
Um, I was saying to Richard that I feel like in the summer this would be round. Definitely. They'll have like residential DJs and stuff on them. Yeah, I like coming out of season. Do you want to know when we're yeah. quiet? Anyway, about smashing day. Yeah, yeah, it's a smashing day. Yeah. <laughs> Can't wait day. to see you. I'm so excited. That's be nice. Mm. Sushi has arrived, so we've got. I'm not really sure actually. Salmon, <laughs> salmon, shrimp, nice beef. Uh, beef and shrimp. Oh, it looks unreal. Just, I'm uh, so not, excited not, about I'm this. I'm not bothered. I just want to eat it. <laughs> yeah, I just need to interrupt to let you know how amazing the sushi is. You crave the sushi when you're in Zanzibar. Mm. You need to come out. It's so good. It's not, it's really good. I'm just living my best more. life. I want more. I'm sure it goes there. Last night, guys, I'm just doing a quick outfit of the night. This is a Zara coordinate. We're going out on the quad tonight to a restaurant. Um, so, yeah, I just thought I'd show you my outfit. I'm wearing a medium in this. Again, you saw this on my Instagram. I was wearing a small. It was really tight. Um, but they didn't actually have a medium in when I was trying it on. So, yeah. Anyway, it looks much better in a medium. Same old bag. Little pair of spec shoes. Here's Mitchell. We're off. We're off. Say the wizard. Okay, it is our final night in Zante and Mitchell has chosen the restaurant to that, right? Left it all the time. I've left it up to him. I literally said, find us somewhere nice to eat tonight. We've got the quad, obviously, until 10 o'clock, so obviously it was an idea. Shall we go on the quad somewhere to eat? Yeah, but we didn't know we were going to do that because it is a bit chiller. But, but anyway, you did find somewhere and you pulled it out of the bag. Uh, sorry about that. Just take it. Me <laughs> Need that little bit. It's my helmet. <laughs> We've both got a helmet hat. Helmet hat? Is that what it is? Helmet hat. Helmet Helmet hat. <laughs> you know what I mean. But yeah, anyway, this place is beautiful. We've not obviously had mains yet, but first impressions. I'm impressed. Just Settings are just 10 out of 10. Look at the surroundings. And you're right on the seafront overlooking this. Mitchell's got a good view of the sunset going on at the moment. Oh, absolutely smashing scenes. And I also like the fact they gave you bread with dip. Oh, and he was gagging for bread. Yeah. Bread and dip for free. Oh, and bread as well. Yeah, I say free, they'll have charged that on the menu. <laughs> on the menu. I can't have speech a lot on the bill. Cheers. To our last, our last evening. Cheers to the last night. What else you cheers into? Our future. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.